Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Patrick and welcome back to another video. If you, like me, are editing video using Final Cut Pro, you are probably experiencing your computer running out of space so quickly and you have no idea why. Well, guess what? Today, I'm gonna fix that for you. You see, if I open up Final Cut Pro here and if I import some footage by going to the file menu, selecting import and selecting media or by using the keyboard shortcut command I, a window comes up that shows me my entire computer where I can grab footage from anywhere and import it. They're in the computer? But over to the right, we very rarely pay attention to this section here. If I look over to the right here in this sidebar as I'm importing footage, I see some selections that I can make. The only thing I wanna pay attention to right now is transcode, create optimized media and create proxy media. To make a long story short, because you're probably asking, like I once did, what is optimized media? What is proxy media? You see, one of Final Cut Pro's biggest benefits is that it is snappy, it's quick, it imports footage, it renders footage, it exports footage quickly. And if you are only dealing with raw footage that you've imported into Final Cut Pro at its original quality, that process would slow way down. You see, what Final Cut does is it kind of copies your footage and changes its format, which makes importing, editing, and exporting your footage happen way faster than if you were just dealing with the original files. But once you're done with your project, you're still left with all of this copied and formatted footage that's taking up tons of space. And I wish I would have known about this trick sooner. So here I am looking at a project, and I've only got a few clips, but it's still huge. And I'm done with this project, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all that extra stuff to save me space on my computer or wherever your projects are stored. So what I do is, is I click on my library, I move up to the file menu and I select delete generated library files. These are those files that Final Cut has created for me to make Final Cut work way faster. And thank you, Final Cut. I love how quick you are, but stop taking up so much space. So I delete these generated library files. But that's not all. You have a few selections here. Delete. 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 So I see here, delete render files. Yeah, I wanna do that because that's gonna save me space, but there's still a couple of selections. Let's say I'm still editing my project. All the clips I wanna use are in my timeline. I might just wanna delete unused render files. That's just gonna get rid of all the extras in the clips I'm not using. But if I'm done editing my project, I've exported it, I've posted it up on YouTube, delete all render files. And you're gonna watch the space come right back onto your Mac because Final Cut gets rid of all that extra stuff it created to make your project move quicker. Then you also see delete those two things we talked about, optimized media and delete proxy media. You hit okay and you will see space magically come back onto your computer. Magic, 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 magic. And now, so this is a quick tip that's going to save you space and save you some headaches. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.